Happy Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very happy Sunday. <laughs> Should we just put it on? Right, I'm going to mute myself. Put... Oh, yeah. Yeah, today is a little bit windy. <laughs> Very windy, it looks like. Got yeah. some, some curtain action going on there. <laughs> Geshla, do you want to do you, do you want to start? Do you want to get started? Uh, yes, shall we start? Although you said it uh, two fifteen. Yes. In your in your in your uh, yeah, <laughs> We will start now. I think people may, you know, slowly join with us. Shall we start now? Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So this is our uh, first class since the Tibetan New Year. <laughs> Not the first class uh, since Western New Year. And, uh, oh yeah. And uh, so we will have three, four, including uh, this afternoon, we will have four sessions. And uh, I think during these four sessions, we will uh, finish the, uh, this beautiful uh, prayer, King of Prayer. And uh, so that's what we are going to do. And uh, we will uh, start the class uh, as we did our previous uh, gathering, uh, making sure our uh, intention uh, to participate in uh, this gathering uh, is a positive, uh, constructive mind, which is very useful and helpful. Uh, we all know this quite well. And uh, there are many different ways to, uh, to, uh, to have a positive and constructive uh, intention uh, to, uh, to join this class. But because you know, most of us are uh, following the teachings of the Buddha and also within the teachings of the Buddha, uh, many of us uh, follow the Bodhisattva and the teachings. So therefore, uh, we will uh, hold the, uh, the mind taking refuge in Buddha, Dhamma, and Sangha, and also uh, the altruistic awakened mind, Bodhicitta, as our main uh, intention, motivation uh, to, uh, to join the class. And uh, uh, this, uh, these two uh, amazing uh, mental states be experienced, be held uh, with the reciting these four lines uh, in Tibetan, first two lines, uh, you know, the Sangye Chodang Sogye Chognam La, that first line, you know, the uh, help us uh, to. Uh, to hold uh, Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha as a, our refuge um, object. 
Sanjay Chut or Sogi Chonamba. Sanju Pardu that uh, help us to uh, to to remind us the time, you know, the for how long or what kind of time, then saying until you know the full enlightenment is experienced, Changju Pardu. Then Dagni, I, I, you know, Tashi, John, and so on and so forth. Dagni, you know, Gyapsu uh, Che, take refuge. That means take refuge. It means Buddha, the Buddha, or the Buddhas as a, uh, our mentors, teachers, and their teachings, you know, the, if we say the historical Buddhas, you know, teachings uh, as a uh, actual means and methods to be, mm, uh, to be experienced, to be actualized within ourselves and to be applied in our everyday lives, you know, the, and the Sangha as a, uh, one's own spiritual friends and supporters. So that means uh, uh, taking refuge or go for refuge. So these two lines, which you know, I have mentioned before, uh, while we have uh, times, you know, the, by reading, uh, contemplating, it is very useful to contemplate, to collect, uh, to, to collect more uh, information, uh, the qualities of the uh, three jewels. And also, you know, the reflect on one's own, this unenlightened nature. Unenlightened in the sense, you know, dukkha, suffering, uh, uh, sufferings and the origins of suffering are the part of our the present existence. And that is our this unenlightened uh, nature, nature of this unenlightened. And uh, you know, then uh, taking refuge, uh, which is very, very useful. Then the next two lines, Dagi Jin So Jibe Tsongamji. Dagi, once again, by me, you know, uh, engaging in uh, such as uh, generosity, practicing generosities, and the others, Dagi Jin So Jibe Tsongamji, Dola Penjir, in order to benefit you know, living beings, all living beings, Sanjay Dubar Show. May I, you know, experience, may I actualize the full enlightenment. So experiencing, actualizing full enlightenment is uh, to serve, to serve the all living, living beings. And to do, to, to experience that then, uh, such as, you know, experiencing the bodhicitta, the mind of enlightenment and uh, engaging in such as the, uh, you know, traditionally called the six perfections from the generosity to uh, cultivation of perfection of wisdom. So that is uh, here, these four lines really uh, capture the most to, to the most important you know, the mental qualities that uh, we, we should uh, hold, you know, the, not just uh, this kind of gathering in the morning, during the day, in the evening, uh, every now and then, every now and then, uh, as uh, you know, I'm sure you do that, uh, uh, but, uh, you know, I'm just, uh, what you call the, you know, the reminding, ourselves, which is uh, uh, useful or important to do that. Uh, so that is uh, the what you call the uh, uh, my brief uh, ending to ourselves while we are staying the refuge in Bodhicitta lines to hold these two minds. Now we will say the 
uh, refuge and the Bodhicitta lines uh, together. Can you not see them, Geshe? No, I lost now the foot, uh, image. I <laughs> uh, don't know why. Sorry. You're not there? I, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll stop the share. I'll do it again. Okay, now I can see the. Uh, I can see the. Uh, okay. Can you see me? Yep. Yes. It's gone again. <laughs> Okay, I need to close down all this. Can anyone else see it? Okay, I will launch it again. You can see what it was. Okay, now I can see. I can see the prayer, but I can't. Uh, I can't see the others. Okay. Only I can see you two. Okay. Maybe so I will say the prayers first. <laughs> okay. Sangye Chanjo Bato Dane Jabso Che Dagi Jinso Jive Tonamaji Dola Penje Sanje to Bara Sanje Cheda Soji Chonamala Chanjo Bato Dane Jabso Che Dagi Jinso Jive Tonama Dola Penje Sanje Dobara Show. Oh, yeah. Okay. So instead of doing uh, meditation because last uh, you know, uh, few times we after this we did brief uh, meditation uh, just to remind us you know silent meditation is important and uh, during the silent meditation to cultivate a uh, single pointed mind you know is important just to remind us we did meditation so today instead of Meditation, and uh, we will recite a uh, few Cherasic mantras, few Cherasic Cherasic mantra together. <coughs> and uh, while we are reciting the Cherasic mantra, you know, really to uh, people who are familiar with the uh, image of Cherasic, either Thousand Arm Cherasic or Four Arm Cherasic. You know, hold that image in front of you, and then you know, with a strong uh, sense of love and the compassion towards oneself and towards all living creatures, and particularly you know the uh, people uh, who are experiencing you know their loved one uh, passed away you know, during this pandemic, and also people who are still in the, uh, in, uh, in hospital, and, and also, uh, you know, the, the past way people who died due to this pandemic, or many, any other, you know, the, by any other means. So to, to, to send our, you know, the strong compassion, strong compassion, that means have a deep sense of, you know, 
yearning and feeling you know that all living creatures all living beings you know whatever challenges difficulties pains and sufferings they are going through may all those sufferings pains and difficulties be purified through you know, with the uh, compassion so hold that kind of strong feeling and we will say generosity mantra uh, together mm -hmm.
Cannot close the window because today it is quite uh, um, uh, sticky, quite hot. So <laughs> uh, be patient. But it is not my fault. It is Tyler's fault. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So what I would like to do before start to read the uh, actual text, King of Prayer, and. I thought uh, I will read a nice passage uh, from, you know, the uh, His Holiness Dalai Lama's uh, daily inspiration, uh, a diary, you know, uh, which uh, we last year, around maybe a little bit later than this, we start to read this. Uh, this book. So I thought it is good to go back once again to read a few passages from, uh, from this. Mm -hmm. So everything has its limits. Too much consumption or effort to make money is not good. Neither is too much contentment. In principle, contentment should be pursued, but pure contentment is almost suicidal. So I thought that is quite interesting <laughs> statement by His Holiness, uh, and I thought it is it is you know uh, uh, that uh, uh, Buddha, the historical Buddha Gautam, when he taught his first teaching, the Four Noble Truths. And uh, before he start uh, the actual, the main body of the uh, teachings on Four Noble Truths, there is a one nice passage saying, you know, that his follower should have middle way lifestyle middle way lifestyle. That is on the one hand, you know, not to, not to indulge and uh, sense pleasure. And on the other hand, you know, avoid an uh, ascetic lifestyle. And, uh, you know, having middle way is the 
really the lifestyle that he, you know, the, his followers should pursue. And this is also a very, you know, expressed in a, a very different uh, way, or use different, you know, the uh, words and expressed in a slightly different way, but uh, it has a similar message, similar message. And I think, you know, the, uh, we, uh, we should, you know, the, uh, remind ourselves, you know, the, uh, on the one hand, of course, we need our basic necessities, food, shelter, medicine, friendship, uh, and those, you know, needs, no doubt. Uh, and for example, these days, uh, this one, you know, the, <laughs> Uh, inseparable uh, object. <laughs> uh, I, uh, recently, you know, now we uh, and Sarah we started our uh, academic year to study. This last year, hardly we did any class, debating class. And just last week, after the Great Prayer Day, we start our mm, uh, uh, debating. On, uh, at the moment, only in the evening, not in the morning. And this next week will start in the morning. So I gave a short talk uh, to the monks to encourage them to really, you know, to uh, to uh, to pursue, to to work hard, and uh, to you know to uh, cover the lost from the last year. And I said, you know, since uh, maybe in in the monastery, maybe since uh, 2010 or in a little bit, little bit earlier, we have a, you know, the, on the one hand, we can say we have a very, very an inseparable best friend. And on the one hand, we can say that. On the other hand, we have a very, very destructive new uh, obstacles uh, to study. And that is mobile phone and the mobile phone connection uh, with the internet. I, I may have already said to you, you know, uh, around the monastery, there are eight towers, mobile phone connection, eight. And uh, I, I mourn this quite often to the monks. <laughs> why, we are, why we need eight mobile, you know, the, the, the towers. Uh, the, these companies are not that very com great compassion company. <laughs> they are not compassionate to us, saying well, you need mobile towers. They are very much keen to, you know, take our monies. That's the only motivation. <laughs> so, uh, so therefore, you know, therefore, uh, on the one hand, definitely we need basic, you know, these things. On the other hand, we should have some kind of uh, strength, mental strength, not to become, you know, slaves of modern gadgets. And this is now, I'm sure I heard this when I was in the West, and now this, you know, particularly uh, young, younger generations, I feel very uh, sorry for them, you know, they, because recently, I stay during the Tibetan year, I stay with my family and uh, my nieces and nephews are, you know, there and uh, really, really very, very destructive of things. This is the modern, modern budget, you know, the uh, health-wise, money-wise, side-wise, mental-wise, everything. It's very, very destructive. But there's nothing we can do, nothing we can do, and uh, because you know the my my sister-in-law, she can't do anything. She she she, uh, you know, the, she uh, need to seek help from them when her mobile goes wrong. So <laughs> so like that. So and uh, therefore, you know, this is just small example. That what His Holiness has said here. Everything has its limits, and that is what I'm talking about. Modern gadgets has a limits to benefit us. 
you know, benefit us to keep contact with our loved ones and uh, learn the many new things, you know, the, but uh, that, that benefit has a limit. But it, it always comes with the uh, other side, you know. Some side of things have always two sides. As, uh, as, as, uh, as uh, uh, Chand Chandakirti, this great uh, Indian master, uh, I think six, six or seventh century great Indian master, when he wrote, not really commentary, but as a supplement uh, for Nagarjuna's uh, fundamental wisdom. Mala Madhyamika Karikam. And uh, you know, that uh, uh, Madhyamika Avatara, which is called the text itself, Chandakiti's text called Madhyamika Avatara. Uh, in the, I think in the fourth chapter, there's a one nice line. Tashi nana mata henjikshin. Tashiva, that means auspicious. Nangnama, that means inauspicious. These two come together. Tenjik means come together. So it's all samsaric things that we have, no matter how you know, ben, uh, uh, beneficial, no matter how attractive, no matter how useful, no matter how, uh, you know, uh, uh, that uh, we loved, they loved to us, but they all have limits. And they all comes with the you know uh, other side, and that is also it's saying everything has its limits, and that is also you know which we uh, should uh, as a follower of the teachings of the Buddha, we should you know the, uh, 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 all the time to remind ourselves. And the second part, which he says, you know, neither is too much contentment. So, you know, the, uh, too much contentment, particularly when you are not ready mentally, you know, physically, environmentally, uh, and uh, in many ways, when you are not ready, then cutting, you know, <laughs> saying, uh, cutting off all the basic needs, basic necessities, then this will cause problems. You know, here his holiness put quite uh, strong words, but the pure contentment is almost uh, suicidal. <laughs> so that is really something quite strong word. But, uh, you know, for example, now uh, in the local area, uh, you know, the uh, uh, local area, the state government, uh, the, where we are, they are starting to uh, what you call the uh, 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 starting to distribute uh, vaccination. And, uh, you know, the, uh, although they have uh, this uh, year, like did in the UK, you know, saying up to this age, but <laughs> uh, very disorganized. And uh, it, it has this pushing and <laughs> all sorts of things. <laughs> And uh, anyway, so uh, so th therefore, what I'm why I'm reading this is, you know, we should have a on the one hand have a contentment, the things that we have. Many of us, you know, the, we have enough things in terms of the food, shelter, medicine, friendship, and uh, so on and so forth, and really to feel. And uh, how 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 fortunate that we are! You know, how fortunate that we are! It, it is important to uh, remind ourselves, you know, the, uh, or look at look at in the you know, area or the at the uh, at the area the what do, what we have got, and feel how fortunate we are, and also called sense of, developed sense of in a gratitude, sense of gratitude, gratitude to the others. Because all the things that we have, you know, including my body, it comes from others. Including my thinking, you know, thinking. 
uh, and uh, you know all this mainly comes from others. Although we may work to get to buy things this and that, but always you know comes from others. Hardly there's anything you know physically and mentally which not comes from others. Therefore, you know, uh, cultivating deep sense of gratitude to the others, which is very, very important. And also, you know, the, um, what you call the, not to, not to, you know, not to, uh, not to dwell too much, too, too, not to dwell too much on the things which we don't have right here and now or things are not going according to our wishes, our yearning, you know, and not very helpful. Of course, we should try. We should try to, to get the, the, that we think we feel we need. It. But, uh, you know, the, after trying hard, if we don't get it, then really not to dwell our attitude, our mindset on that just let go, let go, you know, which is very, very uh, helpful, useful, you know, the practice. So that is our today's uh, preliminary, uh, uh, preliminary or just uh, to talk a little bit before to read the, uh, the text. So now we are going to start uh, uh, today's reading. The King of Prayer, this beautiful prayer. And uh, uh, so last, uh, last our reading uh, finished uh, verse 46, verse 46. And today we'll start from verse 47. But uh, before we read about verse 47, just to remind ourselves, verse 46, which is a very, very beautiful verse, beautiful verse. You know the and uh, the commentator that I'm reading uh, this Jason Takashido, he put it this verse, verse forty six, which says, "Sentient beings are as a limitless, as the boundless expanse of space. So shall my prayers of aspiration for them be as limitless as their karma." and harmful actions, which is, you know, uh, the commentator says, in fact, this verse really more or less captures, captures all the, you know, the prayer, the prayer that we are, the meaning of the, all the king of prayers. You know, in terms of the bodhisattvas or our, you know, prayer or dedication or aspiration or our work, you know, should be limitless for the sake of limitless sentient beings, which, you know, like the, you know, limit, uh, endless or the, uh, you know, the endless space, as expense, as uh, uh, expense, uh, as space, and which is really, uh, and for what purpose? To really all these limitless, endless sentient beings be free from, you know, the uh, unwholesome karma and, uh, you know, harmful emotions, delusions. To free from these two, my prayers, my dedications, my aspirations are towards limitless sentient beings, which is really nice to have that kind of, you know, that kind of what's called the uh, open uh, heart, you know, the, that kind of really uh, thinking all living beings, not just me, not just mine, not just my family, not just my country or my, you know, the uh, race or my whatever, but thinking about living all living beings which is very beautiful, you know, now we are talking about Chizamba, Semje Maru Thaya Teshinde, Chizamba Nemo Thargyuba, Dagi Melam Thaya Tezamo, 
it is in, in, in Tibetan, it is really beautiful. It is very beautiful at the verse, you know, Daki saying, my, my prayer or my dedication, my, you know, uh, aspiration is as vast as, you know, the uh, space, as one, you know, which, uh, as one, you know, sentient beings, as vast as space and which is beautiful, yeah. So that is just to, once again, to remind ourselves. Mm -hmm. Now then, the, today's our reading. Uh, from here, you know, the, uh, we are reading the uh, more or less conclusion, uh, what's called the main outline. There are three main outlines. First one was the preparation, and that we did, uh, you know, the, 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 the prayer, uh, you know, go, uh, goes through the uh, seven limb practice, then uh, started the main body of the prayer. And now we are in the section where the, uh, the conclusion section. And uh, here, the, the, within that conclusion section, as we can see the headline saying, the benefits of making aspiration. Aspiration or dedication, whatever that we use, uh, it, it really doesn't matter. You know, the, here they translated aspiration. In Tibetan, quite often, term is used uh, ngoa, or you know, again, sometimes here in Tibetan, term is used melam, melam. Melam is prayer, uh, you know, prayer, it, that's what normally translated. Uh, and Moa, normally translated dedication. And, uh, uh, you know, the Dumba uh, Sangbo, uh, that here translated aspiration, aspiration, Dumba Sangbo. You know, in Tibetan, aspiration, and if it is aspiration, not necessarily positive aspiration. So therefore, in Tibetan, it's Dumba Sangbo. Mm. So, what is different between the, uh, first of all, between the uh, prayer and uh, uh, dedication, prayer and the dedication. This is a little bit technical, but sometimes quite, it is quite useful, you know, the, quite useful to know. Uh, prayer means, you know, to do prayer, you, you don't need anything, you know, any, any sort of anything, to pray for, to, to uh, uh, you know, to, to be dedicated to, to make the prayer. You know, you can make prayer uh, to the Buddha, to the Dharma, to the Sangha, uh, to oneself, to free from samsara. You can pray to the Cheresik, that all living beings be free from suffering and so on and so forth. You know, from your, from our, from our heart, to you know, to say that these beautiful, uh, you know, uh, prayers, and that is prayer. Moa in Tibetan, and it which is translated dedication. To do the dedication, then what what you need, or you need something to dedicate. So, for example, at the end of our today's gathering. And then we say the 21 power prayers. Then we say the two, three verses. What we do there, we dedicate during this gathering, the virtues, wholesome that we have managed to, uh, managed to, to put together. And those virtues and wholesome are dedicated for certain purposes, dedicated for long life uh, for his holiness, dedicated for you know, peace for all living beings, dedicated for to cultivate bodhicitta. So that is the difference. You can just pray his holiness be, uh, have long life. You can just pray other great teachers to, be, to have long life. We can just pray the world have a peace. And that's the just prayer. But when you say, I dedicate, I do the dedication, I'm doing the dedication, then you need something, 
then dedicate for something. And that is the difference in Tibetan. That's a very technical difference, but sometimes quite useful to know that difference. Okay, so now here the, uh, from uh, verse 47 uh, up to verse 40, uh, verse, uh, verse 54 is really the, you know, talking about the benefits, benefits of having, making this kind of, having this kind of aspiration or making these prayers as we just did the, the previous verse or, you know, like that. So from verse 47 to 54, that can be, you know, then it can be break down. Uh, for example, you know, verse uh, 47 and 48, and these two verses are, you know, uh, uh, explaining the benefit that we will have, benefit that we will experience in this lifetime you know, making these aspirations, making these prayers and dedications, the benefits that we receive in this lifetime, you know, the, that is verse 47 and 48. So I will, I will read that those two verses first in Tibetan as a, you know, we have, we have been doing this since the beginning of reading this prayer. Kang Chokju Shingnam Taepa Rinjen Gendin Yawanam La Pul Hadang Mi Dewa Chongnam Gang Shingituni Gaba Puave Kangi Mure Gabu Ditune Changju Chokju Jesu Ram Mershing Lenjik Samia Teva Gavana Sunam Tambe Chodo Dijuro. So these are the eight lines from these two verses. Now, verse 47. Verse 47 is really saying, you know, that mm, uh, somebody, a, you know, a practitioner, a practitioner uh, who does this prayer, the king of prayer, and really lives his or her life, you know, according to this king of prayer. Either doing just once, reading once, hearing once, writing once, explaining to others once, you know, the, 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 the benefits cannot be compared, cannot, benefit cannot be compared. Somebody who, you know, the, uh, what you call the, uh, all the precious things in the world, you know, the, uh, in the, uh, all times, ancient times, all those precious metals, precious stones, you know, all those in modern times, different precious things, you know, all those precious things collect, bring together, you know, uh, then also, you know, uh, also the, all the goodness, all the goodness in the uh, divine world, all the goodness in the, you know, the, what you call the human world, all this put together and offer to the, you know, the uh, Buddhas of the 10 directions, Buddhas all the offer to the, all the Buddhas. Of course, doing that has tremendous benefits. Nevertheless, nevertheless, you know, the, uh, somebody who, you know, sincerely, genuinely make these aspirations, hold these aspirations, you know, the, and read this prayer, uh, this prayer, you know, the king of prayer. The benefit is no comparable. The latter one is much, much more benefit, beneficial than the, the first one. So that is what here it says, whoever hears this king of, you know, the dedication prayers and earns uh, for supreme enlightenment, who even once, you know, arose his faith, will gain the, uh, who will gain the true uh, merit greatest, greater still than by offering victorious Buddha uh, infinite pure land, uh, pure realms in every direction, all ornament with jewels, 
and uh, offering them all the highest joys of gods and humans, as many eons as there are. And there are many eons as there are atoms in these realms. I mean, the Tibetan uh, the, is because the this uh, translator uh, to write down or translate it according to get the meanings. But the Tibetan words now, the Tibetan first line is more or less in the last out of the, hmm, where's that one? Yeah, in the uh, in the second verse, uh, second line, infinite, you know, the uh, pure lambs, uh, pure realms in all every directions. That's what here, kana chuju shingna taeba. So anyway, the meaning is saying that you know that that is the meaning. That is the really meaning. Just you know, whoever hears with that you know pure heart. Uh, the king of this dedication prayers, or wh whoever recite, read this dedication, um, king of dedication prayers, or whoever write down this king of, you know, dedication prayers, you know, the, the merit or the benefit in their own this lifetime, this lifetime, the merits or the benefits they will receive, you know, in, within this lifetime. You know, there's no comparison somebody who make huge offerings to the num you know to the uh, huge numbers of uh, enlightened beings and uh, you know the, with all these amazing precious things and the good um, highest here it says you know are uh, offering them all the highest joys of the gods and humans so that is really uh, what is explained. Now here, I think the benefits in this lifetime, if we really sincerely, genuinely manage to follow these meaning of these verses, as we read in the in a verse 46, or some of the previous verses, that really opening our heart towards all living creatures, and you know the, to really uh, to whatever we have, big or small, you know whatever we can that we can do, you know the big things or small things, purely to dedicate to all living creatures, our mind will be tremendously, you know, you know what's called peace and joy. Tremendous sense of joy will be experienced. And that's what here it is really explaining. And, uh, you know, the benefits here talking about is mm, uh, uh, it is in the, you know, saying that uh, when we hear this prayer, listen this prayer, read this prayer, what we will have? We will have a tremendous sense of, you know, the uh, uh, joy to follow the path that uh, you know leads to full enlightenment. Changchuk chok is just a ramesh. Changchuk chok, Changchuk is enlightenment. Chok is great enlightenment. Changchuk chok is just you know, just follow or you know follow the footsteps. Rub merging that have a tremendous sense of, you know, uh, in literal translation, tremendous sense of respect. Respect in the sense, you know, have a tremendous sense of enthusiasm, tremendous sense of uh, enthusiasm to follow the path that leads to great enlightenment, you know, in this lifetime. And that is what here the benefits, uh, benefits of, you know, the it says, just having, just having the moment, or just having a, a one time to have that kind of uh, thought, that kind of dedication, that kind of prayer, just doing that, 
benefit is huge. And that's what these, uh, you know, the uh, verse 47 and 48, 48. Kangyang, it means, you know, wherever. Chokju means 10 direction. Chokju xing, the field, uh, the field of the 10 direction. Xing nam, taipa, limitless, you know, uh, limitless sort of fields in the 10 direction, taipa. Rinjin jian de, jiao nam la du, you know, rinchen, rinbuche, rinchen, that means, you know, uh, precious, precious things great precious things, uh, yen, ornament, ornament of the great precious things, bull offer to the, you know, the victorious ones, ha dang mi, dewa chong nam jang, ha means, here they put it, uh, God, gods, ha dang mi, you know, the human beings, dewa chok, those great joy, great happiness, of the gods and uh, humans. They were chong nam jang. Xing yi du ni ge ba pu a ve. Xing yi du ni, xing means the, in here, translate in a, a rounds or the three rounds where the, you know, particularly the, the, uh, the form rounds, which is made of this physical matters and which has to mean countless atoms. So that countless number of count, uh, countless atoms, like that numbers, if you offer the, to the Buddhas and all those bodhisattvas and all those external things, you will get, of course, tremendous uh, benefits, but uh, you know, holding this prayer, the benefits is no comparison. So that is the first, uh, verse 47 and 48. Mm? Then the verse 49, uh, uh, from 49 uh, to uh, up to verse 50, end of 51, end of 51. These three verses, these three verses, you know, the, talking about uh, uh, detail, not only that benefit is not only in this lifetime that we will experience, the benefit is also, you know, uh, many lifetimes coming, you know, many coming lifetimes. And, you know, that's what here, these verses. And, uh, you know, the uh, verse uh, 49, mm, 49 is uh, mainly, the benefit is mainly talking about, you know, the, um, re reading this prayer, uh, holding these aspirations, making these dedications like from this prayer, the benefit uh, is uh, coming in the coming lives, you know, that we will not be born in the uh, unfortunate rebirths, you know, uh, many, uh, we will not uh, meet, not encounter those unfortunate people, people who may lead us uh, in, in non-virtues, uh, uh, environment or activities. And that is what this verse 49. Uh, I will read that first in Tibetan. Kangi Sangju Melam Ditape. Tene Nesong Tamje Pangbaju. Tene Tobung and Bob Pangbai. Now I tie a ten, 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 your tongue. Kangi Sangju. Kangi by somebody or by anybody. You know, Sangju Melam Diabe. You know, this uh, making, uh, reciting this uh, king of prayer. You know, this uh, good action, aspiration to good actions. You know, the, whoever truly makes this, uh, mm, what's called the aspiration to, uh, to good actions. Aspiration to act, good actions refers, referring to Bodhisattva's deeds. Bodhisattva's activities. Bodhisattva's activities means activities that are motivated by the, you know, the uh, mind, uh, what's called the cherishing others, mind, you know, caring for others' well being. And that is Bodhisattva's deeds, you know, Bodhisattva's deeds. Activities which are motivated, led by 
that kind of mind, you know, mind which purely, strongly, sincerely thinking about, you know, well-being of others. And that's what here, uh, good action is referring to, which are which we have come across many times. Then the next line, tene, by that, by, you know, uh, truly making this aspiration. Tene, uh, by that, all the you know the unfortunate rebirth will be uh, you know uh, eliminated will be uh, will be not there you know the uh, yeah will never be born in lower realms uh, then the next one tene again by that by the you know uh, making this aspiration to good actions Tene Topung Yamba Pangwain. Topo friends. Friends. Nyamba. Those, you know, uh, unfortunate friends. You know, there's a very, very beautiful, I'll check out time. Uh, there's a beautiful in her. Uh, I, I may have said this to you many times, but I like that because I I can you hear me? Okay. So when I was uh, when when I was young, uh, naughty. Uh, student in this monastery, and uh, uh, one time, you know, the, I think I might be in my 16 or 17 years old, and uh, one time my teacher called me uh, because I was, you know, I was a teenager in that time. I think Westerner may call, but here we don't have that uh, that kind of concept. <laughs> teenager culture is Western culture, not the, <laughs> I mean, that theory, I'm talking about the theory. Make the culture might be here, but the theory is, oh, this is teenager culture. That uh, term and that uh, concept is the Western concept and the Western term. In Tibetan, we don't have that, uh, <laughs> that term and that, cult uh, that concept. So, when uh, now I can use that when my teenager, con you know, uh, I was caught up in teenage culture. So my teacher gave me a nice, you know, uh, text, short text to read, uh, which is written by a great Tibetan master called Kundang Jambayang. I think maybe 17th or 18th century, great master, have written so many amazing, you know, philosophical texts. One of the great. Uh, one of the great, uh, great, you know, the uh, Gelugpa teachers after Jason Kaba. And he wrote a short advice called Tuenyeche uh, Namla, Lapcha. So uh, monks who are studying, monks, monks who are in the studying, you know, period. And there is a nice, uh, nice, uh, uh, you know, the, uh, uh, advice. And in that advice, there's one nice verse, which now, uh, very relevant to the, our today's this. What what does mean uh, you know the unfortunate friends or uh, non virtuous friends? What put it in here? Uh, harmful companions. Yeah. What and in that in that verse there's this in that uh, uh, advice there's one nice verse in Tibetan it says this. Dikchen uh, that means, you know, uh, I'm, I will use this, uh, this, this, uh, this term, you know, uh, un, uh, harmful companions will not come uh, with a horn at the, uh, uh, on their on the head, you know, the, the un, uh, harmful companions or harmful friends will not come uh, not will not appear in front of you with the horns at your uh, with uh, at head. The Jinshina. Jeshin Pangbe Selji Zumdene. So uh, the, those harmful companions will come towards you with a like a uh, aspect of very caring, very smiling, a very, you know. Uh, to carry your future and very uh, smart chasing. Pangbe, silgi, zumdenis. Zumdenba means smile. And silgi means very sort of joyfully, joyfully, 
you know, they would come like that. The Jesha, you know, Jesha Pompey said, you zoom in. And then what's the last one? Anyway, so then it says, you must, the last last line, it says, you must be very careful to, to those people. <laughs> so that is here. That's here, uh, uh, aspiration. Well, uh, the, now here, particularly relevant, particular uh, relevant to the, you know, uh, uh, this prayer, people who, uh, people who lead us to become very selfish, people who, you know, uh, uh, advise us uh, to say self-centered is important. Without self-centered mind, we will not achieve anything. Uh, you know, those are the, you know, compared in relation to this prayer, those are the, you know, harmful companions, harmful companions, uh, people who, uh, Make, people who may change our this added this this amazing minds to hold you know, the, the uh, mind cherishing others and the, the last line soon behold the Buddha of boundless uh, light that is Amitabha Amitabha you know saying the and uh, people who make, you know, makes, uh, whoever makes this aspiration of good actions, they will also see, they will also have appearance of the Buddha Mitabha. Buddha Mitabha. So it is very beautiful one. Mm -hmm. Then the next verse, verse 50. Uh, then verse 50 is a little bit other side of the, you know, saying the, uh, I will read this verse in Tibetan. Beautiful. So, now uh, I so, you know, the, the, oh, sorry. Uh, they will acquire all kinds of benefits and uh, uh, live in happiness. So, in Tibetan, teta nyepa, nyepa, it is like a gift. Nyepa, no gift. They will get all the gifts, and not only the gifts, they will get all the best gifts. It is not talking about gifts like the Christmas gifts or a New, a New Year gifts or the birthday gifts. It's not talking about that kind of gifts. It is talking about the gifts for the human living beings to our heart, gifts to our heart that we need. Ramne, rabdu nyeba. Nyeba, it has a meaning of you will really find, you'll, you'll find these amazing gifts by reciting these prayers. And devar soa, devar soa means your life will sustain with joy, sustain with joy. Devar soa. Uh, this is the first, it says, and live in happiness. Mizidriyam teta leparam. Even in this present life, all will go well. Mizidriyam teta leparam. So, you know, uh, 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 life all will go well. It not necessarily go well, not necessarily talking about, you know, what you call the uh, you, we will get all the worldly things. Go well in the sense, you know, the, our, what you call the, our hearts. Our hearts, what we really, really, truly what we need, this will get, you know. Even if physically, materially, if we are very, uh, not very well off. But if our heart, what we need, is there? Then that is here. You know, it says, and uh, uh, will uh, even in even in this present life, all will go well. Uh, and before and before long, you know, they will become just like Samadapatra. Kundu sambo Samadapatra. Like the Samadapatra. 
Tatarin Bull may talk to Shinju. You it won't be it won't be that long. You you to become like the Bodhisattva Samadhipatra. Like the Bodhisattva Samadhipatra. Okay, so we will leave it here today. We'll leave it here today and uh, uh, saying this, you know, the uh, mm -hmm. Okay, now we will say uh, 21 Tara prayers and, and dedication prayers. First, we will say the 21 Tara prayers. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, thank you. Om Jeju Ma Pama Droma La Cha Tse Lo Cha Tse Droma Nyu Ma Pa Mo Jene Geji Lo Dan Cha Ma Jike Sum Gu Chu Di Che Ji Khe Sa Chi Wa Me Ni Ju Ma Cha Tse Dung Ge Da Wa Gun Do Kangwa Jene Zik Be Che Ma Kama Dung Da Cha Ba Na Ma Ji Rabdo Chewe Vera Barama Chanze Sengwe Chone Jeje Feme Chane Nambara Gema Chimba Tsundu Kato Shewa Seba Samde Junyema Chanze Tejin Shewe Toto Taye Nambara Gewa Chema Malu Paru Chimba Tobe Jewe Seki Chindu Tema Chanze Toda Rangu Yeke do da cho da nam ka kam Chi de dung bo shang ki nen de Lu ba me ba gu ba nu ma Chang zi jia ji me ba chan ba Lung la na so wang ju che ma Chang bo ra la ji sa na ma da Ni ju so yi du ne te ma Chang zi ji ji cha ta pe ji Paru chu go rab do jung ma I go yin jang shab ji nen de Mea para tu ba shin to ba ra ma Chang zi tu ri ji ba chen bo Du ji pa o na ba ra jung ma Chu ji shen ni chu ni den zi Da o tam ji ma lu se ma Chang zi kun ju sum zi cha ji Sen ni tu ka na ba ra ji ma Ma lu chu ji ko lo jen be Rangji Vekji Tso Nama Tru Ma Changzhi Rabdu Gawa Ji Be Ujjin Vekji Cheng Wa Be Ma Shiba Rakshi Du Da Ra Yi Du Dang Ji De Wang Du Zhe Ma Changzhi Sashi Jung Wei Tso Na Tamji Gu Ba Nui Ma Ni Ma Chong Nyi Ye Wa Yi Ge Hong Ki Pung Ba Tamji Nang Ba Ra Tru Ma Changzhi Da Ve Dung Bu O Ji Yen ba tam ji shin do pa ra ma E be chu ni wu ba ni ne Ta pa ra shin do ve ra va ce ma Chang ze ke ve ta ma ne ta Ba ra ve chen ve u ne ne ma E jan yung gu mo gu ne ko ro ke Da yi pung ne na pa ra cho ma Chang ze sa shi mo la cha ji Ti ji ni ching ni shab ji tung ma Cho ni chen ze yi ge hong ji Rin ba tun bo nam ni ke ma Chang zi de ma ke ma she ma Nyang e de shi ju ni ma So a om da yang da den be Di ba chen bo jong ba ni ma Chang zi ku ni ko ro va ka le Da yi lu ni na ba ra ke ma Yi ki ju bu ngha ni ku be Di ba hong le jo ma ni ma Chang zi du ri sham ni da be Hongi nam be sa bu ni ma Re ra men ta ra tang bi che Chi de sum na ye wa ni ma Chang zi la yi cho yi nam be Ri ta ta jin cha na na ma Ta ra ni ju pe ji yi ki Du na ma lu pa ni se ma Chang zi la yi cho na ma ji po Ha da mi am ji de ma Gu ni ko ja ka wa ji ki Zu da ma na ma ngin ba se ma 
Chang Oh yeah, dedication. Kewa de kewokun Sanama yeshe tzozo shen Sanama yeshe le jungwe Tangba Chanjo Oh yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Very nice to see you again here. <laughs> and uh, here, so far, everything is all right. Uh, we, haven't, we haven't had any new cases. And now, the, as I mentioned earlier, you know, the Indian government uh, start to distribute uh, the vaccinations. And uh, so, uh, uh, what in English there is an expression, it seems there is a light end of the tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, as I mentioned, now we have started the study program, which is great joy to see the monks in the debating yards. Uh, you know, uh, in uh, these days, we uh, in the evening start at uh, six. And uh, just these uh, few days, we will end at eight, but then slowly we will extend, uh, you know, the further, maybe three hours like that. Oh. And yeah, so it, uh, so far, uh, not too bad, not too bad. And uh, also I had a very good relaxing time with my, uh, you know, the, at my the brother's, late brother's place, about two weeks. And uh, that was really good. Uh, I had a good time with uh, my nieces and nephews. And uh, so, yes, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really fine and uh, everything is okay. okay. Apart, from, apart from there are so many things to do. <laughs> last, last, two day, last two days I participated. You know, there is an international Buddhist conference. Uh, His Holiness inaugurated and... Uh, and then uh, we did, uh, uh, you know, the uh, seminars, uh, which which was very nice to see so many other traditions, you know, the uh, scholars, practitioners, and uh, yeah, very nice uh, to have that conference. And uh, and the weather is very here. I don't know in the UK. I heard not not that that bad bad. <laughs> Little bit. <laughs> I can see Robin's, you know. <laughs> and, uh, so, but here, uh, as I mentioned, a little bit, uh, you know, sticky. Otherwise, very, very pleasant in the morning and in the evening. So, thank you very much for joining this. And I will see you next Sunday. Thank you, Geshe. 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 Thank you, Geshe.
Thank you. 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 Thank you.